He's already had four of them shot down, and tonight President Biden made clear he'd keep on ordering the destruction of any suspicious objects in United States airspace. In his first formal comments on the subject, he said the violation of American sovereignty was unacceptable, and he'd be raising the issue with China's President Xi. I hope we are going to get to the bottom of it, Mr Biden said. Fresh from an annual medical and apparently keen to show his fitness, today President Biden also tried to project a strong and muscular policy on the Chinese balloon saga. If any object presents a threat to the safety and security of the American people, I will take it down. But he did confirm three of the four objects recently shot down were in fact nothing to do with China or any surveillance program. The intelligence community's current assessment is that these three objects were most likely balloons tied to private companies, recreation or research institutions studying weather or conducting other scientific research. Hey, Sean, it's going at it right now. He'd been fiercely criticized by Republicans for allowing the balloon to drift for so long before it was finally taken out. Oh, it's hit. That's my Air Force right there, buddy. Today, he defended that decision, saying they'd learned more about China's capabilities. Our exports have lifted components of the Chinese balloon's payload off the ocean floor. We're analyzing them as I speak, and what we learn will strengthen our capabilities. Beijing today insisted the balloon had accidentally drifted into U.S. airspace, lambasting Washington for escalating the situation. But footage has come to light of similar balloons spotted over Japan, showing more details of the payload underneath. It suggests the Chinese spy program has been running for at least four years. The White House are hoping this will draw a line under a difficult couple of weeks for President Biden, in which balloons rather than jobs or the economy have been dominating much news coverage in the United States. I make no apologies for taking down that balloon. Thank you very much. <laughs> But there are still many unanswered questions which President Biden seems unwilling to address. Dan Rivers, News at 10, Washington.